This week's geography is to know about a famous volcano. And today we are looking at our second case study, and it's a volcano called White Island. Have you ever heard of White Island? We're going to read some facts about this volcano before watching a video. When we get to the video, you will need to stop this video and use the link in your sway to watch the video of the White Island volcano erupting. Like last week, we need to know where White Island is, when it last erupted, and we need to know if it could erupt again. White Island is a volcano in New Zealand. It's about 321 meters high, which you will remember is actually classed as a hill because mountains need to be over 600 meters high. So we're gonna read a little bit more later on and find out a bit more about the height of White Island. White Island is an active volcano and it had an eruption in 2020. Now is the time to stop watching this video and to use the link in your sway to watch the eruption of White Island. It's a news video um, because there were tourists just near the island when it erupted and you'll be able to see what they saw in their boat. Here are some pictures from that eruption and a diagram at the top that shows you a bit about the makeup of White Island Volcano and also how close the tourist path, where the tourists walk, how close that is to the crater where the lava comes out. If you want to see webcams near White Island Volcano, then you can use this link that you can see on the slide now, and that will take you there. It also takes, tells you a little bit about what it's like at this moment on this volcano. So it was last updated on the 3rd of December, and the emissions of ash, the ash coming out had reduced, but it was still smoking. This is where this, uh, this web address is where this picture came from. It's from Google Earth, and that is White Island, the volcano. You can see from this picture why it's called White Island. And you can see the crater where the lava comes out. Here are some more facts. My island actually has two volcanic cones, which means two eruptions could happen at the same time. During the last eruption, six people died. If you remember the diagram on the map, it showed you the tourist path. And tourists visit White Island a lot. And if they are walking there when it erupts, there's no real way to escape. And six people died last time it erupted. And lots of others had to be rescued by boat from the island. 70% of the volcano is under the sea. And any good mathematicians out there could perhaps try and work out how big White Island is, how high it is, if you include the height above the sea and then work out 70% more under the sea. Nobody lives on or near this volcano because it's an island. But there is a colony of birds called gannets that live on the island. And lots of scientists visit, visit the island regularly to look at the volcano, but also to look at the birds that live there. Have a think. There were no people living on White Island, but what do you think the effect on the wildlife was when it erupted? 
Is it good for animals and birds to live so close to an active volcano? What might the dangers be? Here are some facts about the wildlife on White Island. The birds would have flown to the nearest island, which is the mainland of New Zealand. Whilst this means they were safe, they may never return fully to White Island as their nests may have been destroyed. Very few animals lived on the island, but there was a lot of marine life just under the surface of the surrounding sea. And every time the volcano erupts, that marine life is destroyed. It grows back quickly, but it can't come well established whilst the volcano remains active. There are two tasks today. Task one is to make a fact fail, just like the one you did about Mount Etna, but this time should include interesting facts, pictures and diagrams about White Island. You might want to put your facts in boxes rather than writing a paragraph. And like last time, you can use colored pencil if you want to make it more interesting. You choose how best to display your facts. I would stop the video now and do your fact file. I hope in your fact file you used as many facts as you could, that you made them stand out using different colors, that you used your neatest handwriting so that your presentation was fantastic. And did you manage to add something that you found out by yourself? We're looking for great work to share in assembly. So if you've done a brilliant fact file, please send it in. Your second task is to look at those two fact files you've got, one on Mount Etna and one on White Mountain, and then do a table, a bit like the one below, of similarities and differences. I've given you one to start you off. The similarities, things that were the same about both volcanoes, they were both active volcanoes. They could erupt again at any time. The difference is, well, that no one lived near White Mountain, but people lived very close to Mount Etna. I'd be interested to see how many similarities and differences you can find.